Hey guys, what's going on? Matt Allen, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We're out here on freezing, cold, clear lake. It's risen like three feet this week. We got chocolate milk water. But you know what? Every spring, it is amazing how fast we go from dead of winter to that hot spring bite. For the last, I don't know, two, three months, we've been doing videos on swim baits, talking to you guys about slow fishing. You know, throwing that ultra slow paddle tail, or the Huddleston or JSJ just creeping bottom. But that's about to come to an end. You can still do that, it still works, but nobody wants to do that after being stuck, forced to do it for months. So what we're gonna talk about today is those first baits, when they first begin to transition, they first start feeding up in the spring, those first baits that you can turn to, speed up your retrieves, and actually get that reaction bite, get those aggressive fish and really get a bite going that's something other than bottom crawling or finesse fishing. Uh, Tim, why don't you fire off with your two and then I'll talk about my two and we'll we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I might have more than two. I don't know, I just grabbed a few. As you guys can see, the water behind us goes another 30, probably 35 yards or so back up into the Thule's. So these fish are gonna be moving up. So you're gonna wanna throw baits that are somewhat uh, weedless. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I really love the Osprey, the tournament talon. You know, this thing's been bit to pieces, but this is a great, Great swim bait. It's got the boot tail on there. It's got a big, real big thump and it, and it gets those real aggressive fish uh, to eat. Another one that's a great, great way to rig up is the Bastrix. You can rig this uh, multiple different ways on jig heads or weedless owner beast hooks, those sort of things. So you could fire this stuff up into the toolies and work it through the, through the junk. So those are two good ones. You know, you might even want to throw a swim jig in there. You know, swim jig is Absolutely. a great, great bait to get, you know, three quarter ounce, throw it up in that stuff and just burn it through it. Just pound it through the, the toolies. Now we're talking about toolies because that's what we've got, but we know you guys are all over the place, but these are all baits. We don't care if you're in California, you're on the East Coast, it doesn't matter. When your fish first start to get aggressive, first start feeding up for the spawn, these are baits, both of those hard thumping paddle tails, a lot of body roll to them, and they just get that reaction bite. They rev those fish up. Uh, for me, I'm gonna add two more. First one's gonna be the Kitech. Now this is a little tiny one, but really we're talking about the 4.8, the 5.8. There are some even bigger ones coming, but they're not here yet. But that Kitech rigged with either the jig hook or with that owner beast, that weedless setup, depending on your cover, is another prime bait. And then the last one we have to talk about is a glide bait. We throw a lot of the River to Sea S waiver. There are some other great glide baits too, but this is my favorite bait to turn to not just because it gets bit, I think just because it's so different than what we've been doing all winter. It's that first bait where you get to be reactive and make fish eat it. It's just fun after a hard winter of just grinding it out. So the S waiver, that 168 size, the smaller size, this one, you can turn to that anywhere in the country. I mean, we've caught fish out here. We've caught them on the Great Lakes on it. It does not matter. They'll all eat that bait. Yeah, and what Matt's talking about with this bait, you know, these ones we pretty much chuck them up there and wind it back. This one, if you guys haven't seen our video that we shot on glide bait retrieves, we'll put that link down in the video description. That's a must watch for glide baits because you're, you're reel twitching, you're rod twitching, you're popping, you're getting that thing to do some stuff, and that's what he's talking about, getting those fish to react. Right, you're making them eat it. Completely different than what you did all winter. So we hope that gives you guys some direction this spring. We just, we know that the bite's coming. We're excited about it. We're standing out here in the cold, but we know it's coming soon. Uh, and we know that you guys are in that same boat. So when it turns time, when you, that first day where you think maybe you could get away with a t-shirt, start thinking about changing it up, throwing some big baits, and you're going to get better bites than you did last year. We hope that helps you guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, like the channel, our apparel. Of course, you can email us for the apparel, tacticalbassinapparel at gmail.com. We'll get you going. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you soon.